Oh my goodness, I can remember uh, back years ago uh, where there was the IP address you needed to get for the packets. And then back in 1983, uh, the domain name system was selected to help folks remember the IP addresses more easily. A lot of people in the course of the, uh, uh, the WISIS 2003 and again the WISIS 2005 and the Internet Governance Forum, there was a tendency to look at the Internet in a very narrow, narrow gauge. And uh, I think experience recently has taught us that it's much broader. Uh, Facebook and social networking. And now, of course, with, uh, when you get into healthcare and healthcare applications. And there are new needs now for managing information in this context. And the new needs would be for managing it at, at what we call the digital object or bit level. So this is growing up. We have it for 20 years now operational. So what I see is an evolution of the internet. And as people come and look at it and try to identify it in their own context, people would say, well, that's not the way we would do it. So I would invite them if that's the case, and I say we meaning having been involved in a lot of the earlier work this, well, come in and show us what you have. Let it be accommodated in the internet as it's going forward. You play a role to integrate it yourself. Nobody has to wait on this because it's the basic health of the internet for having it an open architecture. So the whole idea of danger no, I wouldn't think so. But if you're looking at it from um, a cybersecurity perspective, well, yes, there are various issues there that have to be accommodated because we are humans and unfortunately, like it or not, there are people that don't necessarily wish each other well. And so we have to be vigilant. And the newer system that I was just describing, the digital object architecture, actually has a security that's intrinsic that you can make use of. It's a public key technology that you can actually secure your information. So it's not just uh, the information wants to be free. You know, that's it's, it's no, you want it to it's your bank account. You don't want somebody to come in and liberate the bits. You want to be able to secure your information, a health record. So having normal transactions in the internet, uh, I think, is going to require um, and also privacy. It's going to require more attention to the how do you secure the information units having this open architecture persist.